All right, here we are. Smogon Champions League Week 1. We're playing NU, the fourth tier, and we're using a hyper offensive team with Frostlass. The idea is get hazards up and then go for the win with a lot of powerful offensive Pokemon like Veluza, for example. Looking at their team. Is that, that must be like a Scarf Rotom? No, maybe not, actually. So. Like, we're looking at the speed controls. For, for example, Scarf Bruxish is pretty popular, so one of the two is a Scarfer, from what I think. Bruxish, Rotom, Colossal, Stealth Rock, Spikes type of thing. Yuxi, I'm thinking maybe it's like a Calm Mind variant? I can't imagine what it could be. I think I think it's Calm Mind. Gudra is Gudra. We actually have something very interesting for the Gudra Umbreon core. We have Terra Fairy Jolteon. Either way, I think Frostlass is always going to be the lead here. Heracross can be good. That knockoff can be brutal. If it's Terra Fairy or Yuxi, we're not doing damage into that. But otherwise, we're fine. We have Salazzle. That's okay. Salazzle is kind of walled by Colossal. We'll have to be careful. Veluza can win the game if I get into the right spots. But we need chip damage on Pokemon like Umbreon, for example. Let's go with Frostlass lead, obviously. They lead Bruxish, probably? Rotom Frost. Okay. So I'd have to think that is Scarf Rotom. They might even trick me. If I, I, I'm i going to get all my layers up if they try and trick. Spike up. Okay. Volt. So interesting reveal. They're not Scarf Rotom, but they are Scarf Bruxish. That takes chip damage, and that's valuable chip damage, in fact, because it makes them... It makes... They put them in range of Veluza after a Shell Smash. We just faint here. Wave Crash, Psychic Fang. If we proc Curse Body, that's good. Crunch. No proc. Now we do have the idea. We go Terra Veluza immediately. Terra Dark Veluza immediately, but then we can't Terra the Jolteon later. So I'm not sure I want to do that. It's confirmed Scarf, so we do have. Heracross ideas here. I think I like that. I don't want to... The, the issue is I don't want to go to Veluza and... I don't want to go to Veluza and then Terra and then it turns out I want the Terra later for Jolteon. Is this a free knock or a trail? I'll, I'll Swords Dance. They go to Yuxi. We'll get, a, we'll get a knockoff here. If they tear a fairy, that's a concession because now they can't tear anything different. So I'll make that trade. There we go. Yuxi gone. Rocky Helmet. Not sure what moveset that could have been. Now they'll come back to Bruxish. And Bruxish's main problem is that it's going to give setup opportunities to Veluza, for example. I kind of want to keep Heracross around. There are interesting ideas here. If they Psychic Fangs, then, you know, it's a Veluza show. And then I can go for a win like that. Flip Turn doesn't knock me out. They don't have close combat switching, so I kind of want to keep Heracross alive. Do I sacrifice the Mage here? I don't think Sacrificing Mage is correct. Honestly, Wave Crash doesn't even necessarily knock me out. I could just go for another knockoff here. There's also an interesting idea where I just go hard Mage and I can live Wave Crash if they do. Miss Mage does have chances of living Psychic Fangs. I'm going to go to Mage here. I want to keep Heracross alive. Got it. Okay, perfect. We live that Wave Crash. Now we've put pressure on Bruxish here. Shadow Ball is a knockout. I don't know if they're even thinking about that play. I could Memento as well. Let's Memento. Whatever comes in, we'll have setup ideas on. If they stay in, Memento into Veluza. If they go to a different Pokemon, that's getting Mementoed. It's all good here. They go to Umbreon. Heavy Duty Boots revealed. I do have the Terra Fairy on Jolteon. I could pop it right now. 
Let the substitute one time. Because like if they have toxic, it'll get covered by that. Let's see if this is the right choice. Okay. Hold. Wish. That's good for me. Should I calm mind again? I can. Okay. Now we go for it. Because they think their foul play breaks substitute and they can keep doing it again and again. There we go. Let's Terra Blast for damage. They go to Colossal straight. Now they are getting weaker to my Salazzle, which is good. 49. Oh, that's a good para. That's a really good para. That's game winning, in fact. So my goal was to weaken Colossal first to Lazzle, but now I think it's just over. They go to Bruxish, you always substitute on flip turn. They don't substitute. Either way, we don't lose a lot of HP, but we maintain our killing with Terra Blast idea. Okay, now they don't have the speed anymore. It's all Pokemon weak to Heracross, except for that Rotom, but... We always have Substitute Protection versus everything. I think this is just over. So what would have happened, basically, is that Colossal would have removed my Substitute and Bruxish would have been available to Revenge Kill, but if Bruxish revenge, ki revenge Kills Jolteon, then Veluza sets up on the Bruxish, for example. So all those, all those nuances ended up just getting thrown away because of that para. Gudra. I could substitute. I don't even know what it's going to do here. I think I always substitute. I'm not even sure Gudra can Terra, but Terra into what? It took Leftovers, so I think this might even be Choice Specs. Or it could be like a Leftovers Protect idea with Toxic and stuff, but... Okay. It's Earthquake. Is that AV? Oh, that just almost died. Is that banded? Is that banded? It's not scarf. Okay, well. Heracross always outspeeds and we just knock off. Banded. Okay, that was banded Gudra. Okay. To be a little bit careful, we do have high special defense, so we can take on a Pokemon like Rotom's like Blizzard, for example, but we don't it, we don't we don't want it to get too shaky. Because the Umbreon probably has Terra Poison here as well. Rotom Frost? I have to think they're gonna Terra into something. So I don't need to close combat. I, I doubt it's Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost is an idea to set up on Blissey. It could be Terra Ghost. Because a lot of special attackers like to run Terra Ghost to set up on Blissey because Seismic Toss can't touch it anymore. That could be an idea. Or do I just Trailblaze and knock off? Yeah. There we go. And finish it off with Close Combat. That, that we got lucky there. It w that I I didn't I wasn't losing. It just the game went from a fight to basically over. But we do get the win for the first week of Smogon Champions League. This team will be in the description. And thank you for watching.